Hi guys, it's Wave Master here. Got another quick video for you today. In this video, I'm going to be showing you uh, just a quick little idea, something uh, that uh, I've used for a few clients, and something you might find useful if you're doing a lot of writing on your blog and in WordPress, is to create a template for your posts. Now, the template being not so much the the text itself, but just a few layout things and a few areas that you may want to just simply fill in um, if you have a bit of a standard sort of uh, way of writing your posts. Now, I'm going to get straight into it. We're going to get post here I'm going to get add new post I'm going to quickly throw together a basic blog post template so I don't have to worry about the title on this because um, we're focused more on the content but the basic idea is that uh, maybe I want to create a um, so I might say introduction and then uh, just before that I'm going to add an image I'm going to make that image line right so we've got our introduction after that I might just move this up a bit now this is just like a bit of a something like say if I want to have if I start off with a bit of an intro at the top with an image to the right I might be able to sit that one there next one is I might have say uh, a heading so I'll say heading 2 I'll make this heading 2 and let's say we're doing creating a top list. So we're going to be so this one's for say top list posts where we're going to introduce and then we're going to talk about the topic further detail. So we'll say further detail, and then we'll add our ten items. So yeah, item one heading. We'll call this one heading three. Enter, and then we'll go. We'll say uh, intro, and then we'll say maybe we're linking off something, so we might put like say link. So now we've got item one. Let's say we're going to get this set up. So we've got ten. We're going to go through. We're going to duplicate this. So we're going to duplicate, duplicate. I'm going to hit Control Shift D. So that's four, five. Uh, it's not working. The screen recording software is actually <laughs> stopping that from working. So it's all right. So one, two, three, and then I'm going to go through just to speed this up a bit. Then we're going to duplicate. So we have four, five, six. And then I'm going to get all four of these. Duplicate again. So now we have seven, eight. 9 and 10. So we've got our items here in our top list. Another thing I'm going to do is let's say for whatever reason maybe you also create something of a uh, video that explains these lists. So just above, above here I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to put a little uh, YouTube uh, consent line in there so maybe it's something along the lines of please note by viewing the video below you hereby consent to the use of Google's cookies. So I'll pop that one there. I add in some HTML because I prefer to put my videos in in HTML. And then maybe I'm also going to put in here a link to my YouTube channel. So, you know, check out my YouTube channel here. And then let's say I a link to my channel which for now I'm just going to put a hash in there I'm not going to worry about getting that out so here's our template we've put together a template where we introduce what we're talking about we have our image to the right of that so maybe it's a Pinterest image or something like that we have further detail underneath a second heading so the idea is we can simply click type enter and create as many paragraphs as we want kind of further de detail here and then we have our little YouTube uh, so maybe I'll make that uh, small we have our little uh, YouTube consent note place to pop in the embed code, link to our YouTube channel, and a series of items on our top list. Now, obviously, we're going to put a conclusion in there, some kind of like, and that's something that wraps it up. And then, conclusion here. So we've got our template ready to go, and we want to save that so that next time we start a blog post, specifically a top list item, we can just put that in there and start filling in the blanks. So this is pretty handy. So that way, if you're doing, you're trying to work out what items to put into your list, you can duplicate them as you need them. Um, if you're not sure how to duplicate, you just select, you can click, drag, 
hit your three dots and duplicate and it'll just pop in underneath you can even do multiple items um, that sort of thing and um, go from there so now the idea is to get this ready for when I start a blog next time so what I'm basically gonna do is I'm gonna start here at the introduction and I can sort of click and drag and select everything here but uh, one thing I can do is actually a little bit quicker is I can click off to the right or just outside of the block layout and hit control A to select everything. So you can see here, everything is selected. And now all I can do, I can right click here and I can add to reusable blocks. I'm gonna call this one top list template. Sorry. Top list template and save it. So now that's been saved, I'm actually going to just go off. I'm going to leave this page. I'm not going to save it. Okay, so now I'm actually going to create a new blog post to show you how we're going to insert it and basically start using it. So I'm going to go up here to new post. Use my default editor. Now let's say I am going to say, I might say the top 10, uh, you know, marketing websites or something like that doesn't really matter what it is, but this will show you just how quickly and easily you can pop that template in there to get started. So if I click this little plus button here, scroll down, I need to give that a minute sometimes for reusable blocks to load, so I do that. Now I've got a whole bunch of things in here already, but I'm going to choose top list template. As you can see here, that top list template is now on the page. Now what we don't want to do very important we don't want to go to edit and just start using this because then we'll actually be changing the template and that means if we use it on another website while it's a reusable block it will change on every post we put it in so what we want to do is actually click on these three dots here and convert to a regular block so that way it's no longer part of the reusable block you've simply popped all that information back in there as a nice little template that you can start on. So now you can basically click in and start typing. So maybe you can say, um, you know, under this, you can say under heading two, we can say something like, you know, you want sites that are actionable and hold authority. Or something like that. You know, we can go through Then maybe we go, okay, uh, maybe I want to go, I don't know if these are actually good sites, and I'll just start typing in names. So I'll go, oh, you know. And we just start filling in bits and pieces. So it's a great way to get set. So if you do have a basic format for a lot of your blog posts, you can create these templates quite easily just using reusable blocks, uh, putting them into your blog post, and then converting them to a regular block. So uh, just a quick, little, quick and easy little thing that you can play with. Uh, not a huge... Uh, groundbreaking discovery but something that can help so I hope you uh, found that useful if you did please like the video if you want more videos like this please consider subscribing otherwise I will talk to you again soon and have a great day see ya